In this video, we're gonna be doing a drop fade and we're gonna put a simple part. And then we're also gonna be lining up the beard. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to begin this haircut out by making our initial guideline around the entire head. And we're gonna make this with the trimmer. We're just gonna make a nice even guideline around the head. Next, I'm gonna use the number one guard and I'm gonna cut the top down even. Notice how I'm going with the grain, so I'm cutting with the pattern of his natural waves. When someone has waves, I usually recommend not going lower than the number one. It all depends on the hair texture though. Most of the time, whenever you go below a number one, you'll cut out a lot of the waves. Remember to be careful in this crown area. You can easily gap someone if you don't know how the hair grows. So if you're unsure how it grows, be sure to comb it first. So that way you know which direction the squirrel grows in. All right, so here we have the lever fully open and we're gonna make a guideline an inch high. So here you see me drop down the lever fully closed and we're gonna go up just a little bit and start blending out that guideline at the bottom. Okay, see so here you see me open the lever one notch And then here you see me open the lever one more time. So really guys, you only need to open a notch. You only need to open the lever two times for it to blend out that bottom guideline. And while I'm right here, I'm just going ahead and blending in the sideburns. And I'm gonna repeat the same step around the entire head. So once again, we drop the lever down fully closed. Open the lever. And then here you see me open the lever one more time. See, it's really simple, guys. And then we're gonna repeat the same steps on this side. Now you will notice, and I'm gonna get more into detail with it once I continue the fade on the other side. But on this side of his hair, his hair grows at an angle it kind of slants back to the left, so you'll see me show you guys how to attack that. But I'm still following the same steps. You just have to manipulate your clipper at a certain angle. Notice how I'm fading back to the right. That's what I mean. So you see his hair grows back to the left so you see me go to the right against the grain. Okay, so here we're gonna take the number one guard again with the lever fully open and we're gonna go up another inch. Now I'm not sure if you guys watched the last video that I put out, but as I said in that video, whatever you cut the top down with, the same guard with the lever fully open will blend right into it in most cases. So I cut the top down with the one closed and here you see me use the one open and it should blend right into the top. But here I drop down the lever fully closed. Okay, and then here you see me open the lever to go in between that, that one open and that one closed. Okay. 
Okay, and now we're gonna repeat the same steps that I just did on the back side of the head and the right side. So here the one guard is fully open. You see me drop it down fully closed. And notice how I'm using my thumb to pull the skin so I can get a tight blend. Okay, and then here you see me open the lever and go in between that one open and one close. And you'll see me occasionally adjust the lever. That's just because some spots are darker than others, but it's still the same process. And I'm repeating the same exact step on this side. Notice how his hair grows back to the left. It slants to the left, so notice how I'm fading the majority of the time to the right. And that will happen, guys. You know, nobody's hair is perfect. So you have some people that have weird growth patterns, and he's just one of those situations. But it's nothing we can't handle. You just have to use the same approach. Just, you know, tweak your process just a little bit. You're still doing the same steps. You just have to pay attention to the way that the hair grows. Okay, here now here we have the half guard, and I'm really only gonna show the half guard on this side, but I have the lever halfway open, and then you'll see me drop it down closed. So I'm just going up under that one guard. I start out with the lip with the clipper halfway open and then I close it. And then here I take the clipper with no guard with the lever fully open and I just erase that last dark line that you see. I'm not trying to dig, I'm just trying to hit particular spots. And I'm gonna do that around the entire head. Especially on the right side. So you see me just using a few teeth of the of the clipper. And then here I'm just doing some touch up work. Now we're gonna proceed on with the lineup. And as always, you know my motto, keep it natural. So we wanna find that perfect balance between natural and sharp. So you wanna take off the least amount of hair as possible while, maintain, while achieving the sharpest look as possible. So you'll notice how he's a little light in the corner, but we're not gonna push that. You, you'll see in just a second. Just pay attention and you'll see exactly what I'm about to do. Really, when you have someone with light spots, it's all about creating an illusion. As long as you have the corners sharp, you can make it meet. The eye will really, your eyes kind of help you out. See, notice I didn't have to dig into that area. All I did was make sure the corner was sharp and I just made it along the way. Notice how I'm not digging. I'm just taking off a little bit at a time. And then here we're just gonna add the part. I like to use the slim lines when I'm doing parts because just because it's a small um, cordless clipper, so it's really easy for me to maneuver.
This is just a simple part. I just added a little curve to the tail of the part just to give it a little flare. But I'm gonna go back and clean it up with my razor. Now here's just the detailed portion of the haircut where I use the razor and just put a sharp edge on everything. If you guys found value out of this video, be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Comment below what you thought and any new ideas on any future videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.